I have a fire. I need a fire department here. Inside your house? Yes, inside my house. Okay, I want you to go ahead and evacuate. I'm trying. Okay. I need a fire department here. Sir? Yeah. Hang up the phone and evacuate the residence. Okay. Hey, Mitch, responding. Per PDN, team, the owner has re-entered the structure attempting to save their pet. I was at work on Thursday morning, the morning of the fire, and I was in a meeting. Um, one of the gals from our office came in and said, Janet, there's an emergency at home. You need to call home right away. So I picked up the phone and called my husband's cell phone, and he answered the phone and said, Honey, you're not going to believe this, but our house is on fire. Hi, I'm Dave with Kids in Character, and many of you who've seen our videos know that we teach life skills and character lessons to kids and families. Today we have a life lesson that we want to teach to not just our kids, but to all family members and especially parents as well. It deals with fire safety, and it comes from my own experience in a fire on April 21st, 2011. As you can see all around me, my house is charred and burned. This happened just a few days ago and it started from what was a life-saving device, a smoke detector. Actually, it was the nine volt battery inside of my smoke detectors. Like many of you, I changed my smoke detector batteries at daylight savings time change, like we're supposed to do. I also decided to recycle the batteries because I know that throwing these in the trash is not the right way to dispose of them. What I didn't know is that there are some things you must do to make a battery safe before you recycle it. Every nine volt battery has one particular flaw and that is that the terminals are particularly close together, the positive and the negative. It doesn't take much to short across those terminals. In my case, I changed the batteries on my smoke detectors, put them in a sack for recycling and set them inside of my garage. Two weeks later, when I set a laundry basket on the shelf next to these, it bumped the bag Two batteries touched together, shorted the terminals, and that's what burned down my house. If you're like me and you've got these batteries in drawers, tossed in the back of your car, in cases, wherever you have them, uh, they're probably lying around loose. And I'm here to share this tip with you today. We can't do that anymore. There's one safe way to dispose of a nine volt battery and I wanna show you what that is. You should keep electrical tape with your batteries. And when you're done, place a piece of tape over the terminals so that they're completely covered. As you can see, there's no way that anything metal or any other batteries can short across those terminals now. It doesn't take very much. In my case, it was just jostling the bag around and another battery most likely shorted against this battery. They become very warm and after a time, burst into flames. If you're like me, you've got these all over your house and this is a lesson we all need to learn. We can no longer treat batteries that way, dispose of them properly and tape the ends. I want you to understand I'm on a mission to get this message out. You see, I feel very responsible for what happened to my family. Uh, I'm the person who insisted on taking the batteries out of the smoke detectors and on recycling them by putting them in a bag in the garage. And I'm the one who put them out there without taping them. I should have known better. Uh, now everybody's telling me it's not my fault and I understand that, but on some level I feel very responsible. So my way of dealing with that is trying to find a way to turn this into a positive. If the information that we learned in this fire can save one person's life, then everything that my family has gone through is worth it. So I would like to share that information with you. Now I should mention, um, everybody is okay. My family got out of the fire safely and all of our animals survived. Everybody asked me that, so I wanna tell you, don't worry, everybody's out. The other tough part of this for me is that I have a lot of information to share with you. I don't want to send these videos out if you're not interested because I don't want to spam you. But if you want to receive more, there's a form below. Just sign up for that and I will send them out as we get the videos filmed. I won't share your email address with, with anybody. Um, that's not the purpose of this. I just want to get the videos out to the people who are really interested. So if you'd like to receive them as we get them done, sign up and I'll send you a note when they're posted. Uh, I want to thank you for listening, and I hope that you'll sign up and that uh, we can share more information with you. Thank you very much.